Uh, hi guys, I just thought I'd give you a bit of a heads up, a quick video on the Find and Fix program and all the labs that are a part of it. Um, we've got the four labs here, so these are pretty much your home lab test kits that you take with you when you, you want to run the test. You do it in the privacy of your own home and then you send them off to the lab in the States for analysis. So I thought I'd just run through each test for you so you've got a bit of a heads up on, on what gets tested in each and, and the power of these tests. The reason why we run all four um, because each test is a window to another test. So if you, for instance, run the hormone panel, which we'll run through in a minute, and we have a particular finding on them, then that would push you to run subsequent tests to dig deeper to find out what's going on with your health. So one of the first labs you'll run is called a functional adrenal stress profile. Okay, it's just a simple little lab test kit, not much to it. You've got some, some vials that I'll get you to spit in four times over the day. So we capture it in morning, noon, afternoon and evening times and that gives us a good indication of your cortisol patterns over that 24 hour period. Um, some of the other things we look at in the test is um, some, some of your sex hormones for instance. So we measure progesterone, estradiol, estriol, melatonin, I mean sorry, testosterone and DHEA as well as the four cortisol readings we just went through. The window for this test is actually the melatonin. So if you have a low melatonin reading, which you don't often find in other people's hormone panels, then that will push you towards deeper investig investigative work and will run another test on top of it. So your hormone panel is fantastic. It's easy to do. You just spit in the vials, like I said, four times over the day. It yields a massive amount of information. We can tell exactly what your hormones are doing during, the, during that 24-hour period. So if you find that your hormones are out of balance, especially melatonin, and that would probably cause you to run what's the next um, lab in our series, which is the metabolic assessment. So this looks at your digestion, your detoxification, as well as free radical activity in your body. Um, so people with digestion issues or detoxification, this lab will pick it up and determine exactly how, how imbalanced they are. Um, so this one's pretty simple. This one's a urine test. So the, the Hormone mamas on saliva, this is actually done on urine. Um, you capture your first urine in the morning. Um, again, nice and easy, you send it off to the lab and we get the results back in about two weeks' time. So this, this one will pick up whether your hormones are out of balance due to a digestion issue, a detoxification issue, or just excessive free radical activity in your body and your need for antioxidants. So it's another fantastic test. If we find something in the metabolic assessment, like poor digestion or a bit of a toxicity issue with the client, then we get them to run the next test in our series, which is the mucosal barrier function test. So this is a pretty simple one again. Um, it's just a single saliva sample that you'll collect over the day. And this gives us fantastic information. It tells you all the imbalances through your digestive system, your small intestine and places like that. Um, some of the things we, we look at in it, we, the anaerobic versus aerobic bacteria, how imbalanced that is, the activity of your immune system overall, um, is it crashed, is your immune system crashed because it's just given up the ghost of being hit for so long, or is it an overactive autoimmune type immune system that can cause multiple problems as well. Um, some of the other things we look for in this is, um, is your reaction to dietary proteins such as wheat, corn, soy, egg and milk. Um, again, if you're reacting to those food items, then that will cause a di digestion issue, which we pick up in the previous test. So that gives us a reason why we found a particular finding in the, in the subsequent test. Um, it also tells you the likelihood of leaky gut. As far as I can tell, there's no direct test for leaky gut on the market. So if you're getting told that we've, we got tested for leaky gut and you came up back positive, that's not necessarily true. Um, yeah, there's only a likelihood of it based off other things that we find in this test. So just be careful of that one with other practitioners. Um, okay, so if we find an issue in that, you've got an imbalance of bacteria through your gut or you might have some overgrowth of candida, um, then we get you to run, to look a little bit deeper and we, we get you to run a pathogen screen. So this one's done through stool. It's probably one of the most complex tests. It takes a little while. You've got vert, um, a series of reagents and a series of stool samples to do over the four days. Um, we also do trichome slides as well um, because they can be quite hard to culture and pick up so we, we go about doing the best that we can to, to detect any parasites and pathogens through your system. Um, so another, again, a fantastic test. So with all these four tests, guys, you, you really do find a massive amount of information. 
Um, I've seen a lot of people out there just run a hormone test on their own. Look, that's fantastic and it tells you what your hormones are doing, but it doesn't necessarily tell you why your hormones might be out of balance. Um, so be careful with the testing you get out there. Have a look at ours. If you want to go see someone else, just compare ours to theirs. Um, make sure that you're getting all the information that you need to, to, to give you an accurate diagnosis of what's going on inside the body. Um, there's no better testing that I've managed to find that can tell you exactly what's going on on the inside of your body and why you might feel a certain way. Um, so the Find and Fix program, pretty easy to do. We give you a lot of questionnaires at the start because we like to ask, we like to see what's going on in your body before we run the test and then we, we analyse your data that we've got for, with the testing to your answers for, to our various questionnaires and it just gives us a bit more of a clue to the puzzle of what's going on with your health. Unravel the folds and find out the causal level of health of why you feel a certain way. So have a look through the, the website below us. You've got a massive amount of information on each test. Um, I've given you a brief one on each of it. And then for those that like a more scientific version, um, beneath that again, you'll find a, a detailed explanation of exactly what we cover in each test, the power of each test, and, and why they were designed in the first place. These were designed by Reed Davis from Functional Diagnostic Nutrition in the States. Um, again, just fantastic tests that we... I don't see many other practitioners following these tests in the way that we do. Um, again, so I've seen clients just run a hormone test and that's great that you know what your hormones are doing, but why are they out of balance in the first place? So if you do any testing, make sure that you're getting the full story with it. Um, if you want any questions in or answered or anything like that or some additional information, then just please give us an email or call us and we're more than happy to help. Alright, thank you.